Hello and welcome back. Tone here with today's Dominion Daily, where I play Dominion pretty much every day. With an emphasis on learning and improving at the game and discussing it as we play around. Uh, before we get started, I wanted to take a look at a card real quick that we had on our board last time. This is the Mining Village. And I had noted that... I had mentioned, I believe, that I, I grab this on the open sometimes because I like the idea of the flexibility of having a village, but also being able to get... It's not even a terminal silver value. You get to draw a card and just get plus two uh, coin out of it, which makes it a little flexible. I was thinking about that after the game because that's something I've done before but never really thought too much about. I actually think that's a bad... <laughs> <laughs> a bad move on most boards. Uh, and this is why. To buy something in the open and then trash it immediately in one of the following two turns just doesn't seem like good value to me. Uh, you want to add good cards to your deck early to get your deck like improving early. And usually that like snowballs. Um, there's like a positive slope on that where like it'll accelerate and keep getting better and better so i think trashing a card even if it means you get a a better one than you would have on one of the following turns but like one of your first cards seems like a, a bad move and i think we've talked about before about how villages do not seem like great openings most of the time because you don't have anything to do with these actions so they basically do nothing for your deck uh, right away and usually you want to be improving your deck now especially early on otherwise you're going to be slowing your progress by quite a bit so I was just thinking about that because I remembered saying that and then I actually looked at it afterwards and a lot of the stuff we or I do in these games is I just try to play cards and see what happens and I think it's better to see what happens uh, and actually like learn by experience instead of doing too much theory crafting but then we can like look at things afterwards as well and i try not to like overanalyze the boards on ladder here i want to keep keep the games going so sometimes sometimes we just do things and i think that's something i've done a few times and never really uh took a close look at until yesterday and yeah i don't think that's a very good opening most of the time uh, the one case where it does seem to be potentially a decent open is if you really want to get to like six or seven coin early if there's like a game breaking card there because that draws and gives you plus two so that could be a, a case and i'd actually be curious to see like the numbers on maybe hitting those number uh those six and seven coin particularly with those opens i'd be very curious about that um but overall uh it seems like not something you want to open with usually in my opinion uh, let's go ahead and get right into a game here by the way, if you guys want to support this channel and my other related projects, you can do so over at patreon.com slash tonehack. So feel free to check that out. Let's take a look at our board here. We, we got the Ironmonger showing up here. We have the Mining Village showing up. Uh, we have several villages here. Uh, Monument is a card that I haven't messed with too much. It's always been a bit intriguing. Card draw and smithy. What does Artificer do? This is new to me. Discard any number of cards. You may gain a card costing exactly one per card discarded onto your deck. Interesting. It's a cantrip in money. Really interesting. Berserker. Gain a card costing less than this. Each other player discards down to three cards in hand. When you gain this, if you have an action play, play this. There's a lot of good cards for... Oh, yeah. I think we want to hit Berserker fast. Um, and Amulet is good trashing. I think I'm going to open Amulet Iron Monker. And Amulet can get us Silvers as well. I feel like Amulet's almost always going to be better than Silver. That's another thing I haven't looked that closely at. But it feels probably pretty accurate to me. Um, we're going to get four here. What do I want to grab for four on this next one? Probably another Ironmonger. Yeah, 
I think we're going to trash here. Oh, wait, no. We're not going to get four because I only get that if I choose plus one there. All right, I'll just grab another amulet. I think we'll want the ability of having two of those to trash. So they're playing the monument, so let's watch what they do. All right, we'll go ahead and trash that. Discard a copper. So we end up with four to spend. Um, I think it's actually time for a village of some sort. Stick with the farming village for now. Um, I think I should have gained a silver before we shuffled. Get one into my deck. Um, I'm tempted to grab a silver here and then also buy one. You know what? I want to trash. I think I've trashed two estates already. Let's let's. So I'd rather trash an estate now than probably a copper next turn. We can just gain the silver next turn with amulet, and it'll be all the same. Ooh, they hit five before me and got the berserker. Feels bad. Ooh, that this is actually feels real bad. That is too bad. Uh, I guess I'll keep the silver up there. Oh, I have three here, I can have four, or I can just have trash and have two. I can add a silver to my deck. Weirdly enough, another silver seems okay. All right, maybe we want like monuments instead of silvers. If I add a silver here, I only have three and there's not much to do with that anyway. So I'm just gonna trash here and probably buy nothing. That turn was only bad because they played this Berserker. I have a lot of... Oh good, I can just trash here. Alright, time for us to grab a Berserker. Oh, sick. Amulet the duration. Man, it proc Berserker. That's awesome. I was thinking that it sucked that I'm going to buy it when there's only coins, because this plays if you have an action in play. Amulet stays in play. A little bit of uh, duration Berserker synergy there. And look, they ended up with a bad hand there as a result, just like we did. Right, discarding the copper. Uh, we can buy anything we want here. I'm gonna grab another Berserker. And I'm gonna gain another... Um, I don't have any non-treasure or action cards in my deck, so I guess I'm going to grab a Mining Village this time. Maybe Royal Galley would have been good too. Discard two. Let's do this. Gonna trash this copper. Um, I should grab a. I might maybe should have grabbed a smithy there. We need card draw now. I get a little overzealous with all these. I think I have two farming villages, a mining village, and a galley now. I have like way too many. <laughs> uh, <laughs> way too many villages. 
wonder if we win by getting an engine where we just play monuments and buy provinces. I think we can get a really reliable engine there, but it, that will end up being whoever gets the most monuments. I don't know if that's even the fastest. Uh, I think we'll trash another copper here. I should have played Ironmonger first because it let me discard whatever was on top. Um, do I want to keep the amulet? Um, yeah, I will. That means I'll be able to trash this. This will stay in play next turn, which helps proc Berserker and also gives me other value. I actually want to get another silver at some point because I think we're close to trashing all our coppers. I need to hit six to buy stuff. I guess I can just play Monuments. I want like two more Berserkers, <laughs> some Smithies and some Monuments. Um, so let's just keep that. I play Berserker with Royal Galley. Uh, no, I was thinking that you want always want an action card in before playing Berserker. It's only before buying it. Bro, oh, um, did I gain a silver yet? No, so I'm gonna gain a silver here, I think. Uh, maybe I didn't need to. Like I said, I can get some monuments here soon. <laughs> Grab Smithy first. Um, we only have two to spend here, so I'm just gonna end my turn there. So we have a Berserker that's getting played. Let me get another Smithy here. Um, do I want that? If I leave that on top of my deck... Oh, I'll have five here, so yeah, I'll keep this. Because just seeing that means Ironmonger gives me one. Grab a monument now and another berserker. Berserker comes into play. I'll grab a royal galley. Okay, I feel like her deck is really coming together now. Oh my gosh, what a bad hand though. What an awful, awful hand. And this means I'm not gonna have. Wow. When you get clumping like this, it, it means you get all the cards that are useless together and then you're not gonna see them where you need them later in your deck too. Only three cards left, but that's pretty bad. Um, so which action card do we wanna play next turn? I might just play another amulet. And discard both smithies. Most of my deck is action, so if I use my only action to play a smithy and draw them, it doesn't do that much. Are there plus buys on this board? I didn't even check for that. There are not. I think I'm gonna get to the point where I can just buy a province every turn by playing monuments. I mean, I have three silver in my deck, so we only need one to do that. Hmm. I'm just gonna continue trashing here. Ironmonger is a nice Royal Galley card, isn't it? Um, I don't think we want to trash anything here. I wouldn't be surprised if we want to trash our silver later, but not here. So I'm just going to take the plus one coin. Definitely don't want more silver yet. Alright, we have got a turn going here. 
Will we play a Berserker with Royal Galley? I think we would. Where are we at? I'm gonna grab another monument. Then I have two actions left. Four, five, six. I can buy a province if I play Monument, which I think I want to do. I want to start putting pressure on my opponent. Or I can play Amulet and Trash a Copper. I'm going to go for the province. I don't think it's too early for us. So five, six, seven, eight. The Monument, and I'm going to play the Berserker as well. And this time, I think... I think I'll take another Royal Galley. I like how they can set up our turn next time, especially when Berserkers in play to try and ruin our turns. Let's go grab a province here. I don't think there's a way to gain more than proven one province a turn here. So getting to province first seems pretty good to me. We go 4-4 four, four, split on provinces, they win because they have more monument victory points. But maybe that'll change. What do we have set aside? A Berserker? Um, with this starting hand... I think I actually put the Berserker away. Take another smithy. Clutch. Um, do I want a berserker there? Really need a village. I think I discard this. Play the smithy. There's the village. Okay, now I have two actions and a lot of cards here. Let's hit the Royal Galley. Hmm. I think <laughs> that's showing me I need more villages probably. Grab a, a farming village since we need, since I'm gonna be adding provinces now. And one more action. Monument doesn't really do anything. So let's hit Amulet. I'm actually going to, do I trash this Amulet? I think I do actually. They're pretty good for the plus coin. Gold. That's shocking to me. I don't think I'm trashing into silver yet. Grab a royal galley. So I have a Royal Galley playing a Smithy next turn. I think we're going to Royal Galley the Farming Village now. Which means I will have three actions and plus three cards next turn, which feels like a fantastic way to start off the turn. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that. Three actions left, no draw left. I have six, seven, eight already. I'm going to trash this copper, the amulet. Play one monument and a berserker. And I might take the last royal galley, because those seem to be popular on this board. We'll grab another province.
So Royal Galley is really like a throne, because it plays an action twice. I think that's the correct way to think about that. It's, it's a little simplistic, but I think that's kind of the best way. All right, we'll play the Farming Village first, because it will discard a province, is exactly why I did it, and then the Smithy. We would have drawn the province if I didn't do it in that order. Uh, do I want to trash anything here? I don't think so. Let's take plus one coin. Uh, we can do the same exact thing we just did in Royal Galley of Smithy in a village. So that next turn is going to be good. Hell yeah. This farming village is discarding all my provinces. Beautiful. Um, I don't know. When did I shuffle last? At the end of last turn. Um, am I going to draw through my entire deck? Because if I do, I'm putting two provinces on top of my deck. Uh, yes, I will draw through. Okay. So we, we can freely draw through. I have another royal galley. I think I'm going to start playing those on monuments. Or should I just do another... Uh, I should probably play it on the smithy again. I should have played Ironmonger sooner. I'm getting less value out of it, although I don't think it matters. Okay, and what are we going to start gaining now? Farming villages? Some of these piles are getting low. Uh, do I trash his silver now? I think I do. Grab another province. You, playing the Berserker and getting another Smithy might have been pretty strong there as well. Okay, they buy their first province. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna play the Farming Village first. <laughs> discarding two provinces. These farming villages are being so good here. That's that's why I bought the provinces over the mining village and even royal galleys early. Um, even when I had trash all my estates, because they, they start to become pretty solid at this point in the game. Alright, we'll draw as much as we can. And I don't know if I can afford to trash more silver. So I'm going to just play a coin here. Or gain a coin with my amulet. And how do we want to play through this turn now? We'll start with Ironmonger. Okay, uh, I think we do the same thing. We Royal Galley. Farming Village. And we Royal Galley, a Smithy. And now I have enough actions to play everything. Uh, we're not close to a pile out, and if we were, I'm kind of in the lead, so I'm not too concerned about that. If I play Mining Village, we draw one of the cards I just gained, and we end up with the other two in my hand, which is actually fine, because those were all villages and smithies. Actually, I can just draw through. Uh, maybe I, sh I should have left these in there. Starting with a Farming Village and Smithy in my hand is pretty good. Alright, we're just going to use this for coin. Grab another province. All right, well, we built up to a really strong engine here. And, ooh, they dudded. I feel like that shouldn't happen on this board at this stage with the Royal Galleys, which I, they have a lot of Royal Galleys. They probably have about the same as me.
Okay. Um, we're just gonna get the royal galleys going for next turn. Um, I'll play the other farming village first to yep, keep discarding those provinces. Farming villages are super good this round. Royal Galley of the Smithy. Royal Galley of the Smithy again. The Smithies will usually draw villages. Play all my farming villages. Uh, I'm going to keep that province. And let's see, I can draw into cards that I pick with Berserker here. I'm just going to keep grabbing cards that make my engine stronger. Some actions so we can play two monuments, amulet, grab another province. So, what do we open with here? Oh, Ironmonger Amulet. I, I've liked Amulet on the opens a lot, and we talked about before how Ironmonger appears to be one of the best opens you can get. How do we build from there? Because I don't think we built this as efficiently as we could. Um, hang on, I'm not going to draw out this game. So let me just try to end this first. Although our opponent apparently doesn't mind because it could resign if it wanted to. Okay, and they go. There they go. Okay. At some point, I was thinking that grabbing monuments was going to be good here. I, I think it's just too slow. The appeal of like a smooth monument engine where you just play four monuments a turn and grab a province every turn until you win the game. Sounded good, but since we didn't need monuments to buy provinces, since we had silvers gained through amulet, not through actually buying silvers, um, and we had enough draw and actions to get through them, just wasn't necessary. Um, so it looked like to me initially that there was appeal there, but that doesn't play well in this kind of board. And how would I recognize that in the future? I think we just have to know that this board is too fast for that. But we'll start buying provinces quickly. Um, the other mistake I made early was I don't think I grabbed enough smithies early enough and I think I was undervaluing Royal Galley. And also I don't think the mining val villages had any value on this board. One of the big things that I think people like out of these is that you can trash them on your last turn to close out by picking up like a last province or something. But with only one buy on this board, we'll never be able to gain more than one card with coins in our buy phase. Uh, the value on this drops. So I think that's another lesson here is that Mining Village is a lot worse on boards that have no plus buy. That seems to be like a really good lesson about Mining Village that I'm just learning right now. And those farming villages were amazing. This was a good showcase for farming village. I don't know if they were actually necessary in our deck, but we like I discarded so many provinces with farming village. And making sure you play the province or the farming villages before you draw cards so you can actually discard them. Uh, another thing I learned is since Ironmonger lets you look at the card on top of your deck and keep it or discard it, you want to play this before your last cantrip. So there was a time when I had no victory cards in my deck. So Farming Village is basically plus one card, plus two actions in my deck at the time. I played this and drew a copper and then played Ironmonger. Well, I would have drawn the copper either way, but Ironmonger would have let me look at the card that Farming Village would have drawn after it and chose to discard it or not. 
and that would have been better. So playing Iron Ironmonger before you play your draw cards is good because you can discard cards you don't want in your hand. So that is another lesson. And yeah, Berserker, just plus gains on this board with so many good four cost cards, like getting to Berserkers uh, was really good. So how did the, how did our turns actually play out? We grabbed Amulet. Okay, we both opened Amulet Ironmonger. And then turn three, I grabbed another Amulet and they grabbed a Monument. I think this was a mistake. A Terminal Silver on turn three doesn't feel that great to me. I think that was a mistake, personally. Let's see, turn four. We started trashing and I grabbed a farming village. And I grabbed that because I had two amulets in my deck. Uh, Royal Galley, I was about to say might have been good there, but this can't play Amulet, so it actually wouldn't have been good there. Would have been really good for Ironmonger, though. And they bought a Silver. Which again, I think they would have benefited from another Amulet instead. Just because one Amulet is a little slow at trashing. Like, we got our deck into the shape with the two Amulets. And actually, like, these continue to be good even after you're trashed, because that plus one coin is actually really solid as long as you have the actions to play them it's not amazing but it's good i think they're better than it's better than having a silver in your deck um i gained a silver we already had two amulets there i remember that turn i was like i don't want three freaking amulets <laughs> but i'll take a silver and we didn't we didn't have any silvers in our deck there and we were trashing a lot of coppers so i i knew i was going to trash all my coppers i wanted to be able to hit five because I didn't have a Berserker yet. And by trashing coppers and not adding any silvers to my deck, we weren't able to do that. So we bought a silver here and I gained a silver at the beginning of my next turn with the amulet. I didn't gain a silver here because I wanted to trash the last estate in my deck before trashing the coppers. Um, they bought, this is where they gained a Berserker, which felt like a huge advantage because we basically dudded our next turn. I mean, honestly, <laughs> even though I didn't have anything to buy that turn, which I would have been able to buy stuff if I they didn't play Berserker, gaining a silver with Amulet and then trashing copper with Amulet it feels pretty good for a turn that early. They bought an Ironmonger for four. I don't know how I like that on this board because I feel like Smithy and Villages are really important, as good as Ironmonger seems to be. I don't know how well this fits into an engine. Like, I'm not sure when I buy this over Royal Galley, Smithies, Farming Villages on this board. I'm kind of curious what uh, more experienced players might say about that. Actually, I might post this on the Discord and ask people how many Ironmongers they end up with on this board. Okay, and then we, we, we started picking up, we, once we got Berserker, we started picking up all the pieces, our engine components. I think hitting Berserker fast is important on this board, and I wonder if we didn't hit it fast enough. Probably because I didn't grab any silvers until after my second shuffle, and I noticed that, and it felt like a mistake at the time. I think I should have grabbed my two silvers before that shuffle, because I probably would have hit Berserker like two turns sooner. And I was curious about, yeah, we had a 5-5 split on Royal Galley, which is what it felt like to me. They grabbed two gold. That was a mistake. They had five copper in their deck at the end of the game. That's why they lost. They bought an amulet turn one, and in a 20-turn game, they only trashed five cards, three states, and two coppers. As they continue to add a bunch of silver and even gold to their deck. The gold might have been a little bit of a desperation play. 
We only had three Berserkers. I felt like more, but that was because of the Royal Galleys. Well, that was a super fun one. I'm glad we got to play that. Um, we've had some really good run or games here and great learning uh, boards here as well. So that was a fun one. I will leave that here for now. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Take it easy.